morning and welcome to Radio Friends. We start a brand new week. This is Monday, July 9th, and uh, we've got two topics today. We're going to talk about the Hepatitis C Alliance and then some wonderful events going on in uh, Rochport. But first of all, l let me introduce you to Jim Williams. Welcome to Radio Friends. Glad to Jim's. be here, Paul, and represent the Missouri Hepatitis C Foundation and yeah. Alliance. Yeah. And they're a nice group here in Columbia. So what, what, is, what is the message you want to get across about the, new, the hepatitis The latest and biggest news is that the CDC uh, put out a statement that anybody that was born from 1945 to 1969, which is the baby boomers, and That's there's me. lots of us out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I was born in 45. Th they are afraid that over 2.5 billion of those folks have hepatitis C. And hepatitis C is a silent killer. People usually don't find out that they have hepatitis C because there's no symptoms so you're until saying, it attacks you're, your liver and you what, get cancer what, in your liver. What you're saying is that people born between 1945 and 1969 yes. could have hepatitis C. Why? Because of the way that disease is spread. If anybody's had sex or shared needles or had any contact with anybody's blood that had it and didn't know anything about it, they would get it easily. Can you get it if you have a cut on your finger uh, and the person had is carrying hepatitis C and you come in contact with that blood? Yes. It's that easily it's, transferred? It's that simple. Are the, what are the symptoms to hepatitis C? There are absolutely no symptoms. It's a silent killer. So how do you find out if you have it? You can it? get when tested. Do you, but when do you find out? How do you, if you've got most it... Most people with hepatitis C don't find out until their liver starts causing them problems. The hepatitis C, as it advances and gets stronger, causes liver cancer. And at that point, you either get a new liver or you die. Well, you're putting and it rather bluntly there. Well, it's, it is a blunt disease, and it's uh, unfortunate. It's a very silent, and not very many people know about it. Yeah. And that's why we're trying to get out the news. And the Missouri Hepatitis C Alliance organization is set up in 1999. They began to really promote and get people tested for this disease. So you go to the doctor, you have to specifically ask to be tested for hepatitis C. It's not a, it's not a routine test. Right, not at all. It is routine with the American Red Cross, so anybody that's donated since 1992, they've been testing all donated blood for hepatitis C. So if you donated blood since 92, then and you didn't get a report back from the Red Cross that you were positive for hep C, then you should be okay. But if you have it, but you so need to... But so few people donate blood that there's a large group out there that could be carrying the disease, and that's what they're trying to help. Okay. We're, we're almost out of time. What else do you want to get across? Uh, the organization also sponsors a weekly poker tournament, mm -hmm. and this is to help raise money for the organization. It's a lot of fun. It's every Thursday night for every, every week, mm -hmm. and it's currently starting on January or January, July 5th. So it started a couple of days ago. Well, it's been going on for about a year and a half. Okay, okay. And it's uh, on July 5th is the first time it's going to be at the Days Inn Conference Center. But it's running every week? Every week on Thursday nights. Uh -huh. Starts at 6 o'clock. Or the registration starts at 6 o'clock. The game starts at 6.30. It's only a $20 donation for people to join and have fun playing Texas Hold'em. And if people want more information, what can they do? There's a phone number, 573-442-6599. Uh, okay. And that's for the Missouri Hepatitis C Alliance here in Columbia. All right, Jim. And if they're worried about getting tested, they can talk to them. They provide testing for people. All right. And they provide testing for people all over Missouri, not just in Columbia. So okay. it's a positive organization, and we'd really like to see people that want to play poker come help because it raises a lot of money for the organization. And it raises and, awareness also. And it raises awareness, and the organization needs funding to continue because they get very little from the state or federal. So Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Paul. And Appreciate we'll have the you time. Come, we'll have you come back again, okay? okay? All right. Uh, Jim Williams, Missouri Hepatitis C Alliance. Now, we turn to Ken LaRoss, and you brought a special guest with you. Yes. Bill Williams, pleasure to have both of you here. Nice meeting you, Paul. From Rochefort. Boy, you got a hearty handshake. Yeah. But you know, there, there are some special things going on in Rochefort. Always. I mean, you can always find a fun time in Rocheport. It's only 12 miles towards Kansas City, yeah. uh, and uh, there's always something going on in Rocheport. And if you just want some peace and quiet, we can provide that as, that too. Okay. But we're here today talking about 
The wine stroll. The wine school? Stroll. Stroll. Okay, what's a wine stroll? The wine stroll is, is a, a fun evening in Rocheport where you go from um, merchant to merchant who uh, host a, a, a wine a winery mm -hmm. and uh, you sample the wines as you go from merchant to merchant around town. And when you're all done doing that, we have a street dance. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So you go around just sampling wine. Yes. And then you stay <laughs> and you dance. Yes. By the time you're done sampling that wine, you probably want to dance, right? You probably, either that or talk to the squirrels, one or the other. <laughs> okay. When, when is this going to be? This is going to be September 18th. Oh, so you got plenty of time got to make plans of, for this. Is, this is time. July. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what, what are you most proud about with uh, Rocheport? With Rocheport, prob probably um, the folks that I get to uh, hang out with. Rocheport is a, is a diverse community with photographers, sculptor. Uh, there are wonderful antique stores. Um, uh, I often make fun of Little Rocheport because, for, well, you're too, you're too young to remember the movies uh, Northern Exposure. No. Well, Rocheport's kind of like the Midwest Exposure. Yeah. And it's, yeah. there's some really neat people in Rocheport. Yeah, there, there are. Now, I've got to confess, I haven't been to Rocheport for a little while, I, I for a little while I used to come down and eat at Todd Shapiro's place, mm -hmm. uh, Abigail's. 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 Yeah, still yes. there, and you've got wonderful restaurants. You've got yes. uh, just it's it's a night, and I used to ride my bicycle. Uh, Eighty Trail, of course, yes. Yeah, so there's a lot going on, and it's it's a it's a nice town. But if you want to mark your calendar for that wine stroll. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's okay. right. Not wine stagger, wine stroll. Okay, it's going right. to be in September. Right. In September, and it's okay. going to be fun. Okay. Yes. All right. If anything, and, this country can use right now is a little fun. Now, does Rocheport have a website that they can? Are you? Yes. yes. Oh, you have a website. We have a website. We do. <laughs> okay. We do. What's it's the... <laughs> Rocheport-mo.com. That's Rocheport-mo.com. Okay. Spell Every, Rocheport. Spell everything it. you want to know about Rocheport. Spell it so that it. R O C H E P O R T dash M O dot com. Okay, we got it. Hey guys, thank you so much for coming by, Ken Good and Bill. You. Pleasure Paul, having you. Pleasure. And uh, continued success with all the events going on in Rocheport, just 12 miles west of just Columbia. Just 12 miles that away. Yeah. We're out of time for today. Our program directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Danny Madison and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. Watch this program again or listen to it again. Sign up for a free vodcast. That's with the video, kind of like television or podcast. Go to KBIA.org. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.